Aloha from Hawaii. This is Dale Powell with Gaki Doo's Computer Repair from the island of Oahu. Anyways, tonight what we're going to be showing you is how to improve the performance of your computer with a few simple tweaks you can do in just a few minutes. With that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to do is with the selective startup and by clicking on start all programs and we're going to look for this startup folder here as you can see I have two items listed in there one of them is pstart I actually use that so I won't delete that but the other one the works calendar reminder I don't use that so I'm going to right click and select delete and delete shortcut and it's gone the next time we restart the computer that program won't automatically restart and begin when Windows boots up because it's not in the menu anymore to start up automatically so that'll free up some memory back to the operating system the next thing we're going to do is go into the system configuration menu by clicking on start and run and we're going to type in MS config into the run box and select OK and here we have our system configuration utility by default it's going to open up in the normal startup mode but we're going to do a selective startup by clicking on the startup tab here I'm going to expand this column here a bit and I like to scroll down and look to see what all the items are in here so I can get an idea of what I can turn off now you certainly won't be stopping all of these items in here some of them are for security programs that you shouldn't be stopping others are for the stability of the Windows operating system some of them are for elective programs but pretty much you can stop anything that's an automatic update an elective program that you don't actually need to use till you start it but you might have to do a little homework here by googling it or a little experimentation you can always reverse these settings so let's start here by going down our list uh, here's an example of one I'm using an AVG antivirus on here so I'm not going to turn this one off and some of these you may or may not have in your computer depending on what software you run so don't expect to see these on yours they might not be there now I do this every day so I, I can tell at a glance what I can remove very quickly but like I mentioned start off with the updates like here's the real update, the Java update. I've turned off a few other things that I just know I can turn off. And of course there is another item here you can go to which we'll get into in another video where you can actually turn off some services. Now that list gets a lot longer. Don't mess around there unless you know what you're doing, please and let's see one more look here if there's anything else I might have missed I can turn off I think I'll turn off the LSB burn watcher okay so I'm gonna click apply and close and you notice here we're going to have to restart a computer before these settings take effect and I'm gonna click exit without a restart for now because we're going to do something else but just so you know when you do restart the computer or log off and log on again that you will see a window pop up it's going to look like this it's just letting you know that we made some changes to how Windows starts we're in a diagnostic or selective startup mode and all you have to do to not see this window again is just click don't show this message and click OK and that message will close and you won't see it again that's done now I'm going to show you another powerful method here which you can use to get a little bit more performance as well and this primarily is going to be just for Windows XP machines I wouldn't do this on a Vista or a Windows 7 machine because it will actually change how your graphics looks enough to where you will notice it and you probably won't like it but on XP I doubt you'll notice the look change you'll just notice the performance boost and we're going to do this by going to System Properties. Now, I usually do this by right-clicking on my computer icon on the desktop, but you might not have that there. But you can put it there by right-clicking here, my computer. Make sure Show on Desktop is there. But you can also select the properties right here. 
and we're going to go to the advanced tab uh, one thing while we're on this window here you can notice some things about your system I'm running Windows XP Home Edition service pack 3 which is the latest service pack I have a Pentium 4 3 gig system and I have about 2 gigabytes of RAM so that'll give you an idea about what kind of performance you could expect by knowing what's under the hood now let's go over here to the advanced tab and we're going to go to the performance and settings button by default the let windows choose what's best for my computer selected but in this case we're going to select adjust for best performance click apply OK and it takes a moment for the settings to take effect but after that the performance boost will be immediate and you might just feel it right away now there is one other thing as you notice I'm not a big fan of automatic updates so even for the Windows updates I usually will go here to automatic updates by default automatic selected and I still want to know when they come in so I'll just select notify me but don't automatically download or install them this can pre increase your performance a bit as well because your system won't be attempting to do updates while you're trying to use your computer uh, consuming your internet bandwidth while you're doing other things what you will notice though is this little yellow shield here that is what's going to notify you when you have Windows updates available that's another lesson I don't like automatic updates because some things you have to get prepared for before you do them otherwise you might have some some ill effects from doing automatic updates we fix a lot of computers that have broken from that anyways that's pretty much it I hope you enjoyed the video hope you get a little boost of performance out of your computer and uh, we look forward to seeing you in our next video thank you and good night